Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Microsoft Edge Bar is a feature that is currently exclusive to Windows 10. And the Edge Bar, as you can see um, from this thumbnail image I just pulled up from one of my previous videos, it places the sidebar of Edge on your desktop as a widget, and then the browser can act independently of that. Very similar to the Charms Bar or the Charm Bar we got back in the day with Windows 8. Now, I have seen since posting a couple of these videos over the last couple of months, I have seen a couple of comments on the channel where viewers are asking, can this be enabled on Windows 11? Now, officially, it can't be enabled on Windows 11. There is no default setting or any setting or toggle for Windows 11 users using Microsoft Edge to be to be able to enable the Edge Bar. But there is an unofficial way where we can use a command line flag to kind of force this on Windows 11. So if you are wanting to get the Edge Bar on your Windows 11 device, then here's how you will do it. Now, just a quick side note. Command line flags and flags are kind of experimental features. So this may disappear in the future. But as of posting today, the 26th of November, 2024, this will work. So just keep that in mind. So what we need to do is we need to paste this command line flag, which is quite a mouthful. So I'll leave this down below in the description for you to copy and paste. So it'll be in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this command line flag. And then we're going to right click on any edge shortcut. So that could be a shortcut on your desktop in your start menu or on your taskbar as in my case. So you right click on your edge shortcut, you click on properties and you're in the properties field. What you would do is if there's anything in front of .exe quotations, you would delete that. You would leave a space. You must leave a space else this won't work. Okay. And then what you do is you paste that command line flag in. Let's just go double check. There's a space because that's quite an important part of this for it to work. So in the target, .exe quotation space, and then there's your command line flag. You click on apply. You click on OK. And then what you're going to have to do now is you are going to have to close Microsoft Edge and then relaunch it to apply that flag. And now you'll see if I head to my little gear icon, the settings in the bottom right of the sidebar, you'll see here's your edge bar. Enable edge bar. Detach the sidebar to the desktop to access your favorite apps while outside of the browser. Toggle that on and there we go. And there's your edge bar and there we go. That will obviously launch the features that are pertaining to the actual shortcuts that you have in the bar. And you can see it can disappear and come back, which I think is a nice move. And if you want to change some settings, you can click on this little three-dotted menu at the bottom. You can toggle off Auto Hard Edge Bar. So you got that option. Auto Hard Edge Bar. You can Auto Start Edge Bar. So that will automatically open Edge Bar when the device starts. And um, if you are worried about performance, I wouldn't do that. But nonetheless, if you have a high-end machine, then go ahead. So you've got a couple of options. So I actually quite like this Auto Hard because there we go. And you can work on your desktop. And there we go. There's your Edge Bar. And I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction if this is something you would use. And then if we just head back to the browser there, you can see Microsoft Edge, basically, as they would say, um, is working outside. The, the Edge Bar is working outside of the browser and the browser is acting independently of the Edge Bar. And if you want to place everything back, if you are using Edge Bar, what you can do is you can just click on that three-dotted menu and head to your settings. And there we go. You can toggle that feature off and if you want to place everything back to how it was you can see now everything's become the full browser once again that's become part and parcel of the sidebar and if you want to place everything back to how it was previously you, you just follow the steps again you just head to a shortcut you right click properties and then what you do this time is you would just delete all of that in front of um, the .exe quotations. So there we go. Delete the flag. So you get the idea. There we go. Click on apply. Click on OK. Close the browser. Relaunch Edge. 
And now you'll see if we go down to the bottom, we click on that. Uh, there's no option to enable the edge bar that's been removed. So just a quick, easy way using that command line flag on how you can enable the Microsoft Edge bar for your desktop on Windows 11, which officially is only available for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.